Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be doing a review of a tweak called Swipe Selection Pro. This was just released not very long ago and it has been updated from the ground up for iOS 7. And as you probably saw right there, there is a swipe selection that is free and we'll be looking at a few of its features just in a moment but first let's go ahead and take a peek inside swipe selection pro you can get it in the big boss repo for $1.99 and it's a new way to edit text on the ios device let me show you what i mean by that you probably so let's go in here you see my little uh cursor is blinking there beside the word having and normally if we were going to correct something we would have to put our finger on it and use the little magnifying glass to scroll through the words till we get our cursor positioned exactly where we wanted it. With swipe selection, you don't have to do that. You can actually swipe across the top letters of your keyboard. And you see my cursor is going left and right as I swipe. And you can also use swipe over your space bar, but I have that disabled simply because I just didn't like having it available there in that position. So let's go in here and look at some of the settings inside Swipe Selection Pro. Right here you'll see you have the Enable Disable. And here's another one of my favorite uh, features of this. You can enable it and disable it right from the keyboard. I shouldn't say Enable and Disable. You can activate it and deactivate it from the keyboard. And I'll show you that. Here's where I turned off the space bar. I got everything swiping but the space bar. And you can just have the space bars to swipe if you want to use that. And sensitivity is set to normal. If you want to reduce that, you can. Swipe speed, that's how fast the little cursor moves as you swipe. And the three finger swipe, that's going to be more for the iPad than using it for the iPhone. However, if you can get it to work using the iPhone you you can swipe with three fingers and it will go to the beginning of a document you can swipe right and it'll go to the end of the document but it works a lot better on the iPad this is a pretty cool tw uh, tweak guys uh, swipe selection is the free version now let's take a few look at some of the features it offers and compare the okay guys now you see I've got swipe selection installed now um, with swipe selection you don't have any of the settings that you can modify under here uh, there's nothing that you can configure at all under settings actually you just have to use it just how it's in how it is installed for you and it does allow you to swipe from the top bar here However, there's no, uh, and the space bar seems to be swiping too. But there's no way to configure the speed of the, of the swiping. Uh, you can't do the, uh, the three finger swipe is not here. You don't offer it here, I should say. Uh, there's just several different options in here. And you can't do the triple tap to turn it on and off. It still stays on no matter what. Uh, that's one of the main features I really enjoyed having because if it got in the way you could always deactivate it right there and But you still can swipe and you can still hold down the shift key and Highlight I don't think I showed you that before And now you just hold the shift key and swipe and it'll highlight pretty awesome guys so it's swipe selection pro uh, seems to win out pretty big here guys. I hope you enjoyed the video Please thumbs up if you did hit that subscribe button and keep coming back And then today we're going to be looking at the top 10 tweaks for the week This is the January the first week of January